Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Thanks for watching my lectures. Today, I'm going to prove a huge vector identity as you see here. Uh, su such identities or such vector identities uh, are very helpful in proving different governing equations in uh, different applications such as electrodynamics or um, continuum mechanics or other uh, fields of physics. So, uh, we have to learn how to use them in other uh, equations. But uh, proving them helps us to correctly um, use them in different applications and also to improve our skills in working with different vector and tensor algebra concepts. So, uh, let's read the uh, identity. This is the gradient of the dot product of two vectors. The dot product of two vectors is a scalar and the gradient of a scalar is a vector. So this term is a vector quantity. So because of the homogeneity of all terms, the other terms have to be a vector quantity. This is the cross product of a vector and the curl of another vector, which is a vector, so the product uh, of this expression, this multiplication, is again a vector. Term number two and term number one are similar. This is the dot product of a vector and the del operator, which is again a vector, so this is a scalar. And the product of a scalar and the vector is a vector. Again, the term is number three and term number four are similar. So, but uh, pay attention that this scholar is something different from a number. This is a scholar, but the del operator always takes the derivative uh, of the other, the input, its input. So, uh, when uh, I'm multiplying this uh, as a scholar quantity and this vector quantity, then I'm taking the derivative of the vector b. Okay, let's start from expansion of the, uh, the first term, or the term number one. Uh, I have the cross product here, so uh, this, and this is a vector. So the i-th component of the term number one equals the definition of it, or the translation of the cross product in tensor notation uh, is uh, is there something like this, this is the permutation symbol. As you see, using the tensor uh, notation, I can easily prove such a huge uh, identity. This is the privilege of the tensor notation, which transforms vectorial uh, notations, such as the dot product, the cross product, uh, into uh, algebraic expressions. As you see, I have just a multiplication and a summation and nothing more. So, I can easily, uh, I strongly recommend to learn the tensor algebra and translate this, such expressions into the vector, into tensor notation and perform algebraic expression instead of vectoral. Um, so, for example, vectoral operators such as the curl operator. And this is the ith component of uh, the first term, which equals the permutation symbol. And this is the j's component of the first input of the cross product. As you see, the, in the index or the subscript of the a is equal to the second uh, subscript of the permutation symbol. And the i's component, this subscript, appears at first place. And k, which is the third uh, uh, index of the permutation symbol, is the index of the second input of the uh, cross product. And this is the case component of the K or curl of B. B is a vector. Uh, again, uh, perform another cross product or translate this term into the tensor notation, uh, as you see, because this is the case component. So the first index of the permutation symbol should be K. And uh, similarly, but here the first input of the curl operator is the gradient operator or the del operator. So the curl of B, the case component of the curl of B equals epsilon, which is the permutation symbol, so KLM. The first input is the del operator, so L appears here, and M appears uh, as 
the index of the second vector. You can easily change the location of these terms because the, the, there is an ordinary multiplication between them. Uh, so, uh, uh, as you see, I have two permutation symbols uh, near each other, uh, and etc. This is the, uh, one of the most helpful identity, identities which appears during the proof of or the process of proving of many other identities. This, uh, as you see, this is the product of two permutation symbols, two permutation symbols. And the, the index k is a dummy index uh, or the repeating index, and I have four uh, non-repeating indices. Uh, as you see, I, using this identity, I can decompose the product of two permutation symbols into the into some of uh, pro the combination of uh, the chronicle delta and the chronicle delta can easily be absorbed into other tensors. And also, the dummy index k disappears in the second hand side of the equation. So, uh, substitute this expression here. Uh, the I have two Kronecker deltas here and two Kronecker deltas here, or the substitution tensors. Uh, as you know, uh, as I've already uh, uh, mentioned in previous, vid previous uh, videos, I, when uh, Kronecker delta is multiplied by another tensor, for example here delta sub n j m, and I have n here. So the result is uh, the substitution of the first index of delta and uh, the index of the tensor. So the result is a partial derivative of sub j. Similarly, I have delta Kronecker i l and I have l here. So the result is x i, the first index. So the, I have nothing to do with a j, a sub j. So a j, partial derivative of b j with respect to x i. Similarly, I have two delta Kronecker, and here I have L and J. Here is, again, I have L, so the result is partial derivative of J. Again, translate this expression from tensor notation to vector notation. This is the contract test product because the index uh, of A and the index of uh, X here are similar. So, uh, and this is uh, A, which is a vector because it has only one index. And this is the gradient of B, because the indices are similar, this is the dot product of A dot del uh, B. This is the translation of that term into the vector notation. The term number 2 is completely similar to the term number 1, so similarly, B cross product, the curl of A equals, uh, you can replace, or interchange vectors A and B in that relation. And this will be B dot del A I, or you can write this uh, like this, because A is a vector. So I have to add uh, the term number one and the term number, this is the sum of uh, terms one and two. Uh, I have a minus sign here and another minus sign here. As you see, these two terms uh, are totally similar to term number three and term number four. So the sum of four terms in the right hand side of the equation is just this part of the expression. Because these terms and uh, term number three and four cancel each other. And I have, so I have this expression. I have to again translate this expression into the vector notation. Okay, this is the product of the quantity and derivative of the other one, plus the product of the second uh, quantity and the derivative of the first one. You see that this, these are just ordinary arithmetic operations. So you can combine these two terms using the role of derivative of products. So this is the result, which is the product, the derivative of the product. Okay, this, uh, you, it's the time to translate this expression into the tensor, into vector notation. So this is the gradient operator, and uh, these are two vectors, because the indices are similar, so you have to put a dot sign here, or the contracted product of two vectors, because the contraction, contraction has been performed. And this is the final result, which is the first 
hand side of the equation. 